float like a butterfly, swift as lightning. They are super fast because there is no friction uh, that comes with wheels against tracks. Meet the maglev floating train. Maglev is short for magnetic levitation. So there are a series of superconducting magnets that are on each corner of each train car in a maglev train. They enable the train to be levitated and they control the guidance of the train so that it stays in the middle of the tracks. Originally designed in the late 1960s, it wasn't until 2004 that the first commercially operated high-speed maglev train opened in Shanghai. It's now headed for the U.S. Maglev uh, is a technology that's been developed uh, in Japan over the last 50 years uh, by the Central Japan Railway Company, uh, which is the world's leading operator of high-speed trains. And our company uh, has been working with the Japanese uh, for the better part of the last decade to investigate um, deploying that system here in the United States on the Northeast Corridor. With routes currently being considered to connect the train from Baltimore to Washington, D.C., the train would travel above ground for up to nine of those miles, crossing some of the leading federal research facilities in the country. It makes perfect sense in some ways. Um, if you look at the traffic congestion between Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, it is close to the worst in the entire country. And of course, the last thing we wanted to do was be disruptive to communities in order for the project to be built. But with it comes questions regarding safety and inclusivity. You know, these trains are great and they can get you from A to B in, in, in 60 seconds, but who can actually afford to ride them? We've seen uh, examples of environmental racism based on transportation in this country since the beginning. We do sort of get the short end of the stick when it comes to these type of decisions. I've seen things written like this is a train for wealthy lobbyists or lawyers. That is emphatically not the case. The reality is that these tickets are going to be very affordable. Whether you're business, whether you're a commuter, whether you're just going to visit family, there will be a ticket for you. And if approved, experts believe that the train would help cut down on greenhouse gas emissions taking more than 16 million car trips off the road by 2045. For BNC, I'm Naja Sherman. Brought to you by Ford. Built Ford Proud.